Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and this will be the first video of the entire series that I will be creating for Microsoft in tune and after watching this video, after spending 10 minutes on this particular video, you will get a fair understanding of what is Microsoft in tune. Some of the very common terms that you guys might have heard is that Intune is Microsoft's MDM solution. MDM here stands for Mobile Device Management. And you guys might have also heard that Intune is Microsoft's MAM solution, which is Mobile Application Management. So that's the only reason why I'm also going to talk about a very brief overview about what is device management and what is application management. Now, before we go ahead and learn what exactly Microsoft Intune is and what all it gives you. Let's talk about an ideal scenario wherein you have a user that is going to access Office 365. Since it is Office 365, a protected app by Azure Active Directory, the authentication will be taken care of by Azure Active Directory. You have synced up your identities from on-prem. Everything is working as expected. And the best part is this user is using a device that has been provided by you. That means it is actually managed by your IT team. So when it comes to configuring securities, data loss protection, anything and everything, you have the full control on this particular device and you can configure n number of policies so that the corporate data remains protected. Over and above that, if you need more security, you can configure conditional access as well based on authorization that will be granted if a user is a part of a specific group or you should or the user should complete MFA or the user should coming from a specific location. But when you will configure conditional access, there is one more option that is available in the grant section and that says requires the device to be hybrid Azure AD joined or a compliant or non-compliant device. So we fairly know that hybrid Azure AD joined devices are those devices which are joined to domain as well as joined to Azure Active Directory. But since we don't know as of now what exactly compliant and non-compliant devices are, that's the only reason why I have not mentioned the devices options here. Once you will complete the device management video for Intune, I can assure you that you will have a fair understanding of what is a compliant and a non-compliant device. Just a short overview here is that when a device is adhering all the policies in terms of security, in terms of data sharing that you have configured, then that particular device is named as compliant. If a particular device is not adhering the policies or the settings which you have configured, then it is called non-compliant device. So this was just an overview about how these status are being stamped. When I will be creating the device management video, I will configure and I will cover each and every aspect which I will show you on the portal, which will give you a better idea. Now let's come back to this particular diagram wherein we, we know that since everything is managed by IT on, a, on this particular device, the application which a user is accessing would remain secure. Everything will remain secure. But the fact is that let's think of a different situation now wherein this user is no longer using a device that has been provided by you. Or this user is using a personal device, likewise a cell phone. Now this leads or this is something wherein you can think of using something called Microsoft Intune. Microsoft Intune will help you to manage this particular device which does not belong to your enterprise and which actually leads the concepts of bring your own device. That means what? You are giving your user the privilege to use their own personal device but being an admin, what you are doing, you are also protecting and securing the information that will be accessed by a user on a personal device. Now, let's focus on these two components from this entire diagram that, that we see here. And these two components are a user that belongs to your enterprise is not using 
a device that's been provided by you instead he's using a personal device now you can think of device as one single entity and user as a different entity for managing user you have azure active directory you can configure different set of password policies or you can have conditional access anything and everything to make identity secure but what about this particular device how you are going to control the device that will be used by one of your user to access a particular information and it is not only restricted to a device in order to access a mailbox the user might be installing outlook application so now you can think of this as a management that requires to handle two different entities the very first one is the device which your user is going to use and the second one will be the application which your user is going to use so Microsoft Intune helps you to manage the device as well as application so the part of Microsoft Intune which will help you to manage the device is called mobile device management the common term that you guys might have heard about Microsoft Intune and the part of Microsoft Intune service which will help you to manage application is called mobile application management. So now if we talk about a proper definition of what Microsoft Intune is, Microsoft Intune is a service offered by Microsoft which will help you to manage devices as well as application on those particular devices by keeping the data protected and secured. So these are the two components which actually belong to Microsoft Intune. And now let's talk about more about device management. So device management is something wherein you're going to create policies which will configure different settings or which will do some checks on, on a particular device to know whether those particular devices are actually complying the policies that you have created or not. And the best part is that this is something which works on the protocols or APIs that are available in mobile operating system. I will give you a small example and that will make more sense. So likewise, you don't want your user to change wallpaper. Let's say this is a configuration or this is something which you are doing to restrict a user to make a specific change on a particular device. Now, at this particular moment, I'm only talking about currently this feature is available in iOS, but it is not available in Android. So what do I mean by this? That the features that you are customizing with device management, it all depends upon the settings that are exposed by the operating system of your mobile system itself. That means what? If your mobile does not allow a wallpaper to be changed by an external service or by a different service apart from its own operating system instance, then that feature might not be available. So this is what is the meaning of this statement, which you guys can see that protocols are or APIs that are available in the mobile operating system. This is the parameter on which the device management of Intune works. Obviously, when you will ask your users to enroll devices, they might enroll more than two, three devices. And what this will result in that since you are using Microsoft Intune, you will get a better inventory data. That means you will be able to know which user is using how many devices and this inventory data when we talk about is moreover related to reporting in Microsoft Intune the reporting is not limited to what you see on the portal you have a full integration available with the Power BI PC app which can be installed from Microsoft Store also since you are defining the policies to meet the company security and health standards, you will also get the status of a device, whether it is compliant or not, everything on the same portal. Not only this, with Microsoft Intune, you can actually push certificates for Wi-Fi, VPN profiles, so that the users can access a particular service. And again, as I talked uh, before, as I you know mentioned before, reporting capabilities are there to let you know the list of compliant and non-compliant devices. 
and there's one more very uh, good feature uh, which is there is the power to actually remove the corporate data from the managed devices so you can also remove the corporate data that belongs to your enterprise on a managed device because the way applications save information will be in a different containers so i will cover each and everything that i have discussed right now in two separate videos for device management and application management think of this as just an overview to give you an insight about what all microsoft intune can do for you we have talked enough about device management let's now talk about application management so application management is something which will help you to assign mobile apps to your employees that means what you can once you assign a mobile app to your employees the user will launch a company portal app that's been used by intune and the moment they will click on a shortcut icon that is there on the company portal app a specific application will get installed on that particular device which they are using you can also configure apps with standard settings that will remain same all across enterprise you can also control how the corporate data is being used and shared in mobile apps so likewise let's say I have sent a email that's a confidential email to one of my peer and my enterprise has configured a setting wherein the user has to use Outlook app and it's only the Outlook app with which you can access that particular attachment or that particular email you will not be able to save that file locally on the mobile device so you can also configure data protection or data sharing when it comes to the corporate information that belongs to your tenant or that belongs to your enterprise since the information is being saved in two different containers when it comes to segregating the personal information that belongs to user and the corporate information belongs to user you will be able to remove corporate data from mobile apps specifically as well this exact term which has been used for this is called selective wipe there is a full wipe and there is a selective wipe full wipe everything will be gone and in selective wipe only the corporate information will be removed and since it's cloud service you will also have reporting for this that means you can narrow down which application is actually being provisioned for which particular user on which particular device so all the three entities device application and user you can create custom reports as i briefed before with the power bi desktop app itself and apart from that you will get ample of information on the portal itself and not only this Intune app management will also help you to track the mobile app usage. So this was all about this particular video. Uh, I will be creating, as I said before, I will be creating two different videos for device management and Intune application management. This is just the beginning. This is the entry point, which might have given you a fair understanding about what is Microsoft Intune is. And now let's talk about the summary we have talked about Microsoft Intune we have talked about application and device management In the next video I'm going to talk about setting up Intune how you can set up Intune on the portal what are the license requirements how you can go ahead and check different pricing uh, that is available for Intune service if you guys have learned anything new please feel free to subscribe like and comment if you have any feedback or a suggestion or if you want a specific uh, component or a feature to be covered on a particular video please send me an email on learnconceptswork at gmail.com and i will try to create a new video with the best content available thank you so much guys thanks for your time and have a great day ahead Bye bye